Hey everybody and welcome back to my 3D printers build log. Now this episode is going to be super exciting. I can't wait to share this with, with you. I made a ton of progress. Um, I have the printer standing right here and it looks amazing. It's not finished yet. It's not definitely not finished yet, but it finally really looks like a 3D printer that you would be able to use. And um, yeah, so I did a lot of 3D printing and I already attached all the 3D printed parts that I printed to the printer. But at this point I have to stop because I ran out of screws and I cannot get the screws that I need in a local hardware store. So I had to order them online. I mean, they'll be here in a couple of days, but until then, I think I've definitely made enough progress to share it with you. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I decided to first start off with a base plate. I initially wanted to go with a 460 by 460 mm aluminum plate since that's the size of my printer. But the eBay shop I decided to go with only sold plates in 50 mm increments, so I just went with a 450 mm square instead. I started by marking out the corners for the vertical posts that I had to cut out and used the point of a screw to make precise markings. Then I proceeded by cutting out the corners. This at first seemed like a hard task, but with a proper blade the handsaw cut through like butter. While working on the base plate, I was already printing many different parts that I had drawn before. And this is for example one of the parts that will slide on the X and Y rails. And once I had cut and cleaned up all the corners, I did a quick test fit. And it turns out that I was pretty lucky with the tolerances, since I didn't expect the base plate to be so hard to get in. Then I made some markings on where I wanted the screws to be to secure the plates to the frame. And while I was at it, I also measured out the exact spots for where I wanted the holes for the shaft couplings to be. After I made all my markings, I took the plate out again and drilled the missing holes. I started with the big holes for the couplings, since those would be the hardest ones to make. I first took a large drill bit and made multiple holes along the side of my markings. Oh, and I also started using WD-40 to lubricate the drill because I'm getting seriously sick of breaking my bits and having to run to the hardware store 5 minutes before closing to get a replacement bit. To clean up the hole I first wanted to use a Dremel sanding bit, but that didn't really do much damage besides from the damage it did to my hearing and to the relationship I have with my neighbors. So I then just took a regular rasp to get off most of the material. After that I smoothed it up with a normal file. This was way easier than I thought it would be and I had the big holes cleaned up in no time. After that I made the smaller holes to attach the plate to the aluminium extrusions. I first punched the holes with my trusty driving screwdriver, drilled the holes with a 5mm bit and cleaned everything up by countersinking the holes. Before putting the plate back into the printer, I wanted to get rid of the oxidization on the aluminum plate and I used some abrasive cleaner and a buffing bit on my Dremel. Here I first did only half of the plates to show you a before and an after of the process. I was later able to get rid of the stripes by giving it a second pass with the abrasive part of a sponge. I then went ahead and put the plate in for the last time and secured it to the frame. While I was doing all the work on the printer, I was already printing the parts needed for the X and Y axis. 
Unfortunately, the tolerances of some of the bearing holders are a bit tight, but since I plan on reprinting all the parts again with my new printer, I didn't bother exchanging them. The bearings I bought were of such a bad quality that they didn't fit the H7 fit of the linear shafts. So I got some new ones from my local skate shop that did fit like a charm. After installing all the bearing holders, I installed the mounts for the motors. When designing the mounts though, I didn't leave enough room for the shaft couplings so they didn't fit between the bearing holder and the motor. So I quickly reprinted the parts but with a bigger hole this time. Then I inserted the bushings into the X and Y sliders and installed them into the printer. While I was at it, I also pushed the M4 nuts into the covers of the X and Y sliders and verified some measurements for the lengths of the carbon fiber rods that will be held by the sliders. With all the measurements verified, I cut the rods to length. If you're building this printer yourself, be aware that the rods will have to have slightly different lengths to accommodate for the width of one of the stepper motors. I then cut the timing belts to length and tensioned them by pushing them into the timing slot on the X and Y sliders. The next problem I encountered was that two of the timing pulleys weren't in line with one of the sliders. Since I forgot to put 10mm spacers on the steel shafts to again accommodate for the width of one of the stepper motors. So I first fixed that. And this is what it looks like right now. I think I made a lot of progress. It looks great. I love the mechanism. It works really well. Also the the sliding bushings are uh, sliding very well. I had a bit, uh, I had some fears that they would lock up or something, but they slide really, really nicely and I love it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do in the next video is actually fixing a problem that I've just found out. And that is if you raise the inner part, the motors will collide with this uh, part of the outer frame. So, yeah, I'll probably just have to take it out, but uh, yeah, anyways, that's what I'm going to do in the next video. I'm also going to be attaching some more printed parts, especially for the Z axis. I hope you like the progress I made just as much as I did. And if you did, then please consider subscribing because my subscriber count is still pretty low. And other than that, I hope to see you in my next video where I'll definitely be making just as much progress as this time. So until then, 
See you later. Thank you.